So this is one of the ways our team uh, solved the drone problem. Essentially, the cylindrical tubing acts as the retain of tension, and the spring acts as a way to let go of the pivot plane. Um, so it allows it to fly. because we think we want everything to be compact and we want to possibly have mechanisms in anywhere in the robot. Uh, on the back side, the bottom, uh, the motors. Uh, so in the front, or I guess in the back, we couldn't put both these two motors in the here. So we had to move one of them forward and then we used a belt to connect it back here. We didn't have that problem for the front one, so instead we used miter gears uh, to transfer the motion in like a 90 degree angle to uh, these wheels. Uh, and as for the battery, uh, lastly, uh, we wanted it to be as compact as possible again, so it's kind of towards the bottom, uh, at least for now. Hey guys, so this is our claw. It's a Looney Bot claw attached to a differential system. And this is our idea of how we're going to prototype to pick up the pixels for this game. So here we go. And then we can rot it with, rotate it with the differential system and place it like, like this. And then we can also pick it up from the top. Like this. Hello, I'm Rhea. This is a linear side. I've been working on the linkage servo. So, and then the intake will be here. Oh, it went somewhere. There's no amount of moving. Uh, hi. Uh, this is the paper airplane launcher. It's supposed to launch this paper airplane to for some points. Uh, it's powered by this motor which makes both of these wheels turn by friction. And Like, so in the end game, like center stage, we need to be able to hook up onto either the lead um, digging or the blue digging, and we can choose either this one or this one. So to do this, I made a, a use Gobel Dust lead screw kit. So basically, it's powered by um, a model um, with a one-to-one -one gear. We might change this to make it go faster, but we need to make sure we still have the right amount of torque. Because the heavier the bot, bot, bot is, the more torque we need. And if we don't have enough torque, um, this thing can break. So, lead screw BC works by converting rotational motion to um, linear motion. So, by preventing this thing to rotate, we'll be able to move this up and down. I mean, uh, at the cost of speed, we have a lot of torque here. So, near end game, a robot can go up all the way. And, yeah, I can demo that now. Up onto this, so you can make it go longer first. This, so let's say we start like this, and then robots over here. We can start um, lifting up the robot by moving the lead screw down like this. There we 
on guard. Totally stop. And then we'll be able to um, stop touching the ground. We can still go a bit more up if needed. But at this point, the robot should be off the ground. And to make the robot be able to be under this just, we can we can make the U channel smaller along with the go rail and cut the leads through a bit. And then you'll still be able to hook up using this. Today we assembled the new field for the 23-24 season. Um, it took us about four hours with a lot of parent help. We had about four to five people working on it at one time. Um, so I'd say time is your worst enemy, but take your time because that is really important. Um, and the more people you have working on it, the better it'll go, the faster it'll go, the more you'll be able to collaborate on the things you need to do. Um, the most important thing is not tighten any of the screws until you do all of them, until you connect all of the poles because you don't know um, what you might be needing to change or what you might need to adjust because we had to unscrew some screws like multiple times because we had already tightened them. So that's like really important. Um, another thing um, that we messed up the first time was these. So there's uh, four of this type of a bracket, I think is what they call it, something like that. Um, and then there's two that is a different shape, it is this. And these are in the middle, the middle tool right here, this. So we messed up, we switched these two, or one of them we switched them, and so we had to go back and fix which ones to adjust um, with these little um, black brackets on them. Um, there weren't many difficult things that were uh, like, hard to adjust, but it's just hard to figure out the instructions. So as long as you have a picture of what it's going to look like, I'd say that's the most important thing. And then the spacing between these bars, we kind of um, didn't have the spacing right, but a lot of that was with we had tightened some things before we should have tightened it. And so making sure you're not just going off of what your tiles are, but um, measuring them with the correct measurement so that they're all equal and you don't end up messing, messing them all up. So. Good luck with building your field and we hope to have a great season.